hello welcome or welcome back to my channel this is Amanda otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter um, today I just have a quick little unboxing unbagging whatever you want to call it from Shein I've heard it pronounced Shein Shane Sheen I say Shein I don't know anyway it's just a diamond painting a some of the um, release papers for diamond painting and then I got a little my pen holder Let's start with the little pin holder. I got this thinking maybe I'll put like my diamond painting pins in it. I might have the camera too close to my desk. I got this um I got these three items and they have this little cell going on or I don't know if it's a all the time thing or if it's just right now I mean I know it's still going on but it's like buy this is buy three items get two free and I added three items to the car and end up only paying for one and I got the other two free so I think only paid for this I paid five dollars, like five dollars and four cents or something like that for all three things. Let me look real quick. Five dollars and two cents is what I paid for the Harry Potter and Shein Easy to Use Cosmetic Organizer is what it's called. It looks like it is Oh, it didn't say what its original price is on here. I guess that is its original price. Because almost everything was on sale. But I guess you buy one for the original price. Then you get to the other two for the the free. Or there's some discounts depending on what you buy. I just got some things I really wanted that I'd seen and put in my cart a few times. But it's just a cute little, like I said, it's, it says cosmetic organizer. I wonder if I can get some of the glare off. I'm going to try to move the camera away a little bit. Okay. But yeah, I thought I would just get it and maybe put my diamond painting pins in it. I have more. I just These are just the ones I keep on my desk. Maybe some of my tools, tweezers, and my little ceramic pen. I think it's cute. And I love everything to do with Harry Potter so that was going to stay on my desk. I like how the back's reflective. I think it's really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah you can see. Anyway I think it's really cute. Next is just a 50 pack of release papers. If you've never used release papers they're just these little they're almost like a um, wax paper. They're real smooth and they don't stick to the adhesive. I mean they, they do but like lightly if that makes sense. They don't pull off the glue and then you can take the plastic off the cover off of the diamond painting and just lay those down and you can remove them and do each individual section. I just started using some recently and um, I really like them which I like doing my washi tape and my ceramic pen and just cutting out the sections too but this is actually a lot faster. This one says 50 piece diamond separation paper protective film for diamond painting for do-it-yourself and it looks like it's originally three dollars and forty cents and I got it free with the buy five get two free. I buy three get two I cannot remember how it worded it, but it was weird. I, I thought I had to buy more. I thought I had to buy all three and then get two things free and then I end up... So I guess it was buy three, get two. Cat's trying to come up here and join because he hears me talking and he cannot stand me to pay attention to anybody other than him. Hopefully this didn't grab me too loud.
Now for my diamond painting. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's just your normal warning and to recycle. And it has the coat on it. Made in China, 30 by 40. Probably the item number, product number, stuff like that. Alright. I thought this was cute. I'll try to insert a picture as I was you know, opening it. But it's just a little black kitten looking at his reflection in the water in like a little pond or something with water lilies floating. And look, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. The canvas is sparkly. I've never had one that's sparkly before. Yeah, I don't think it's showing up in the camera at all. But the entire canvas is sparkly. I think I can see it a little bit in the camera there. But it's 30 by 40, which means it's probably like, what, 25 by, I don't know, let me measure it. Yeah, 25. And the cat's crawling on me. Ouch. By 35. So the actual picture size is 25 by 35, and the canvas is 30 by 40 centimeters, I mean. But let me move the cat. Alright, so it's nice and sticky. Doesn't look like it's one that's going to peel up in the corners like some I got from AliExpress recently. I would never ordered from Shein. My daughter orders clothes from there, but I've never ordered anything, especially not non-clothing stuff. I think I ordered her something once upon a time from there, clothing-wise. Everything looks like it's printed really clearly. 23 colors, I forgot to say. 23 colors. So everything is so reflective. It's got the drill number, the symbol, and then the DMC color code. Looks like a mixture of letters and symbols. So check mark. I don't even know what that is. Two dashes? Not dashes, but almost looks like a upside down V, but it's not connected. It's printed on both top left and bottom right of the canvas. It's got the same oh, so that was the model number. Oh, it even says picture size 25 by 35. Look, I didn't even have to measure it. If I'd looked at it first, then the canvas is 30 by 40. It's good to start from the right side to avoid sticking hands and elbows. Tear off the transparent film slowly and partly when you get into paint. In painting, it's better not to stick with fiber or meat water drop. If it's not finished, put the film back to keep canvas sticky and clean. Which, that's why I got the... Uh, release papers to replace this stuff. I'm surprised it's actually not bad. I mean there's some creases in it but it's not as bad as some of them I get from other places. It's actually a lot better. It wasn't smushed. And it came in a bag just like a lot of the places I get stuff from. Yeah, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Oh, it's just really cute. Okay, it comes with the regular little tray, wax, pin with the single placer, and it comes with some baggies. Let's look at the drills.
Oh, good, they come separately packaged. Looks like some pretty collars. I wish if they were going to do this, they would have just put them in little Ziplocs for us. That would have came in handy. They have the DMC code on them and the drill number, but they do not have the the um, the product number. Not product number. What did I call it? <laughs> It is 7.38 in the morning and I have not been asleep yet, so model number. So my brain's a little slow. Alright, so it doesn't have the model number on there, but so you have to keep it... Oh, these ones aren't separated. You have to keep it with your project or you're going to not know what these drills go to. They look like they're nicely shiny. I mean, they're, they're like drills that I get from most places. I don't see any big clumps or the weird weirdly shaped drills, but I haven't, you know, dumped them out yet. I'll look more when I kit them up. You can tell some of these are going to cover bigger portions than others. 939. I use that a lot. 939 and 310. Are the dark colors that is usually in the kit. This is 500. 823 like a dark blue so I don't even see any black but yeah it's got some nice colors in it I hope I was catching all that on camera as I was looking at them pinks and I don't even know what color you would call that orangey pink it's a light pink pale pink grays blues greens This is going to be a really cute project. I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, this one was $5.10, but of course I pay, didn't pay anything for it because of the special they had going. It just says one piece do it yourself diamond painting kit, lotus and black cat pattern, frameless, full drill wall art. So, just in case I didn't get a picture put up what it looks like finished. It's just really cute. Just, I really hope the detail comes out in this. Anyway, I'll stop rattling and playing with the drills. Um, that's all I have for this unboxing. It wasn't um, a collaboration or anything. That's why yeah, I could talk about other companies. Um, if you haven't shopped at Shein, they have a lot of stuff. Like, it's not just clothes. I know most people get clothes from there. Or at least most of the, like, unboxings I've seen and stuff from Shein is clothing. And they do jewelry and stuff. But they also have, like, electronics and, I think, kitchen stuff and cosmetics. I don't know. They have a lot of different things. But they have diamond paintings and cross-stitch kits. I think I might have saw a latch hook on there. So, if you haven't, tr you know checked them out. They have good sales going all the time and their clothes are really cheap. Um, like I said, my daughter buys stuff from there a lot. She loves their jeans. She's really short and she's kind of tiny yet she's buying jeans there that actually fit her and if she orders them and they don't fit her right then they, you know, they have a good return policy. She easily, she can easily return them and replace them with either a different size or get her money back and buy different ones but it's hard for her to find jeans usually that fit well so she loves Shein and they have really cute tops most of the tops she wears now at college she got from Shein anyway but I went there for the diamond painting and I was just looking around to see what they had because I kept seeing their little cell pop up and yeah I was like, I'm jumping on this Hogwarts thing. They had a bunch. They have a lot of friends. Like different friends things like this. And like zipper bags. and I don't remember what all. Coffee mugs that kept popping up too that I was looking at. But Harry Potter. That's I just, I love Harry Potter. I love this diamond painting. They have bigger ones too. 
you know and the bigger ones usually turn out better but I was going for as cheap as possible so five dollars for these three things I thought was very reasonable especially since this is a lot of release papers I won't have to buy any more unless I'm doing a lot of big projects or something all right if I um, have any links I will look see if I can figure out a way to share the links I'm sure I can just go on my browser and copy the link so I'll put the links in the description box um, I don't know if they have an affiliates program if they do and I sign up then I'll let you know if they're affiliate links or not like if I do Amazon I have affiliate links for Amazon and I have affiliate links for Tamu. I'm pretty sure I I say that anything I unbox from there so so I will make sure it says in the description box if it's affiliate links just in case you don't want to click because it's affiliate links or if you want to because it's affiliate links whatever makes you happy anyway thank you so much for joining me today um, I know this was a little bit rambly like I said it's really early in the morning and I haven't been to sleep yet which it's normal for me now because I'm actually on night shift schedule for work so 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. so that's what I'm living now so this is actually my night time anyway I have no idea when this will go up um, I really appreciate you sticking to the end if you came this far if you wouldn't mind consider liking subscribing maybe sharing for some reason even though I post every, or upload every day I don't really get the views or the likes and I definitely don't get like anybody interacting and that's why I want to do this was to interact with people and grow like a community and so far that's not happening but it's only been what a month or two so I'll be patient I don't want to feel like it sound like I'm begging begging you for likes anyway um, I will get off here now in this weird rambling thank you again and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.